psychologically, how important is it for you to recognize that you will always have failures along the way, but you've just got to keep on going with the process? For me, it's extremely important because of uh, the last, sounds like uh, this last probably year and a half or two years coincided with when I came into stoicism, just when life, just whatever happened, happened in my life and brain. Um, I I know I'm very susceptible to um, win at all costs. Not you know I, I'll always say I'm never malicious to anybody. I'll never stab anybody in the back. Nothing like that. But I'm extremely self competitive, and extremely excuse me very relentless. And I'm highly aware aware. Like I'll use a a, a metaphor of like Mount Everest. To go with art. What you're saying is, you know that thing's giant, and if you, the higher that is, the hot when you fall, the further that fall is. And you have to, you're an idiot to not think that, that can't happen. You're not being smart about your pursuit if you don't take into consideration the negative visualization. And I'm highly aware of the older, the wiser I get, or whatever you want to call it, that I as Jeff am extremely competitive. I hate, I hate the these, I would I use the sentence I hate because that's not very con, you know therapeutic or conducive to positive pursuits so i really don't like losing or you know or like i look at and i know like in the, in a on a bad day if you will somebody and i we're in the same audition room we you know hollywood is just full of clones like if you want if you have a certain type you want to date just go out to an audition that day for that type and you can just kind of <laughs> pick it's it's the most it's almost like a saturday night live skit you know it's like oh like even if you don't know which room you're going to for the audition Oh, just go down that hallway with the guys with muscles and tattoos, and that's you know that's where mine's probably at. And, yeah. And and so the way I'm wired is just, it, to me, I don't want to hurt any of those people. Nothing like that absurd. But to me, every one of those people, as much because this is such a dream of mine, they are an obstacle. Not so much like I uh, I need to overcome, but they are potentially taking away my job. And not like mm. literally my. I mean, yeah, it puts food on my table, but they could take away a thing that take goes towards my dream. Whereas like in a sport, it's kind of black and white. You have more points, you win, I have more points, I win. So that that is why, the way I know I'm wired is why I know I pay highly, pay so much more attention to being so cognitive of the stoic approach to it. And I'm not good at it at all, but I'm being, I guess kind of the first step is admitting it, if you will. So the first step is being, I, I've become aware of what you know you always use the traffic analogy about you know what you have control or what you don't and i'm i'm the guy i'm like i will find a way to control traffic <laughs> and yeah. i know that's absurd that's just stupid and so i'm i'm the way i'm wired because of just the life i've lived and the way I, you know for lack of better extremes i was in life and death circumstances where i could control it where you know it was very extreme and intense and and very kind of gritty black and white and that worked for me and i'm aware of that and so i need to filter that through the stoic approach of everything that's absurd with this industry in this city and like you said i actually i did get the audition of a lifetime had it submitted it we're done and now the industry shut down and that's out of my control <laughs> <laughs> you know and 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 i and no joke since this has happened i go back to the, that stoic principle probably the minute I wake up to the minute I go to sleep because yeah uh, yeah because there's so much going on and I think I, I mean obviously I, I pimp stoicism but I think that not like an alcoholic but admitting the problem is like the biggest step so like for me where I'm at my stoic journey is being aware of the application of these things is the biggest thing for me and being aware of your deficiencies when applying it to whatever industry or world you're in some industries are a little or some existences firefighting was pretty easy for me it was very nine to five white picket fence two and a two and a quarter kids and that whole statistical normalcy um and that'd be a little bit easier to apply it to so i think people need to be aware of kind of not aware of their failures or, but their weaknesses or their things they need to better themselves on you know like when it comes into where do what key point of stoicism it matters most you know for you know like i'm okay with materialism like i slip into it just as much as any american but as far as control that's where the, that's the feature i'm always focusing on is, is yeah. to be better at that you know yeah 